Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sunderland Road to Glory Season 6, Episode 3, I believe it is. We have two weeks remaining on the uh, transfer window, but as you guys know, if you've seen the first two episodes, I kind of feel like I'm done. I, I don't know if I'm going to be bringing in anyone else or selling anyone else. We have a squad that actually I'm very happy with. However... I have read the comments, and although the signings I've made are kind of cool, they're kind of exciting, we've got some young players coming in, some regens, I think most people want to see me blow some money. We've got, how much money have we got left? 240 million. So, I mean, I, I get that. I, I, I absolutely get it. You've got this money, Matt. Why aren't you spending it? This is why. Because I love this squad. There is no one in this team that I want to replace. They're all very, very good. So if I was to spend between 100 to 200 million on a player, who the hell do I get? Who the hell comes out of the team? I, I guess Collins is the only player that's not very high rated, but he plays so well and he's one of my favourite players. So that rules him out. Rashford just came in. I guess maybe left side, we could potentially do something there, but I love using Barnes. We've got McNeil as a backup. McKinley is untouchable, of course. Hover, Gomez, Ake, Lewis, I guess. But blowing 100 million on a left back, I don't think that's even possible. So I really am a little bit stuck with that. I, I, I don't know what we could do. Um, we brought in Cook, of course. We paid quite a bit of money for him, actually, because I basically didn't care to negotiate. We've already got so much money. Mendez has, of course, come in for free. But our recent signings were Paul Parks, a backup right midfielder that's left-footed. He looks actually quite good fun. He's got five-star skill moves, even though I'm not much of a skiller. Um, we also brought in Gorman. Now, you'll probably realise I've changed his face, his picture there. Um, with the power of modding and now I've actually added a face two faces actually I've got one for Gorman one for Parks let me go ahead and show you what these guys look like I can't actually remember which faces I took but Gorman has this face I actually think it's pretty good if you look at his picture it's quite small I, I know you can probably barely see it but it actually looks quite a lot like his actual face so I'm happy with that he has potential to be special, by the way. So it's gone up from exciting prospect to has potential to be special. I don't know how. Is it like the loan glitch from all those... Well, actually, it probably was in last year's game, wasn't it? I never really used the glitch. But if you loan someone out and bring them back, they instantly become a better and higher potential player. But of course, in this year's game with dynamic potential, who knows what's happened there. But that would mean his potential is 90 plus, which is incredible. Shame he's only 81 rated at the moment, though. And then, of course, we did uh, Parks, if I can find him. There he is. And we've gone with this face. I think it's, I mean, it's decent. It's not the best we've used so far, but it kind of matches the picture um, we'll see what you guys think in the comments of this video, but I think, I think it's pretty good. Um, and we're, we're done. Everyone's got a real face now. So very happy with the squads. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do regarding bringing in a player, but someone mentioned something on my stream last night, which actually I thought was quite interesting. So what if, and I, I'm not definitely doing this. Okay. It's down to you guys. I will be doing a vote at the end of the season. What if I got rid of all my money? and invested it in a new stadium. What if from next season, unless I win the Champions League this season, then of course the series will probably be over. That's not going to happen. But let's say we go into next season and it'll be that big push for the Champions League final. Imagine if I had a new stadium. Just say no money. My money's gone because I've got a new stadium. It, it brings something different to the career mode. It'll make it feel a little bit different for me. I've played a lot of games at the Stadium of Light. So let me know if I was to change stadium, I would, of course, name it the Stadium of Light. Maybe we could call it the Theatre of Light or something, you know, something a little bit different. And uh, we will go for one of the bigger stadiums in the game that reflects how far we've come as a team. So look forward to the end of the season when we get that vote going. I have a very strong suspicion, suspicion sorry, that people won't want it to be changed, which I totally get. But we'll see. We'll see towards the end of the season. We're now going to jump into our second game of the season. And having lost the first game, we need a win against Bournemouth here. I am going to go ahead and bring Parks onto the bench. I would love to give him a go. So maybe we'll take off 
Collins or McKinley or even Barnes at some point and bring him on for his debut. And Gorman is going to get an official debut. So he'll be partnering Gomez. He's, of course, left-footed, so I want him to be Ake's backup. And we'll just see how he gets on as well. But this is the team. Now, I should mention as well a slight change on the home kit. The sleeves and the top of the back are now white. They were red and I wasn't quite happy about it. So we've made a slight change. The home kit now looks just a little bit better in my opinion. It looks a bit more like a Sunderland shirt. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with the red. I just thought it looked a bit overwhelming. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I do like the red socks. I'm glad that we've gone with red socks this time and also just more stripes. But in general, this home kit I think might be my favorite actually. Last year was good, but this one is just, oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Here is Gorman. The new number four. What's his passing range like? Oh, beautiful. I hope he is a good player for us. I know it's obviously quite late for a, an 81 rated player to get into the first team. It's not going to happen because of Ake. But we'll see. You never know. He might just be incredible. Here's Taylor now. Over to Gravenbirch. We're going to try and have a shot here. Oh, wow. Okay. That was on target for sure. Oh, my God. And Gorman almost scored the corner. Oh, that would have been such an incredible start to this game. Another thing worth noting as well, I have changed the goalkeeper's numbers. So Gunn is now number 13. And Michael Scott is, of course, number one. He is our number one goalkeeper. I couldn't change it last season. It was too late into the window to change it, I felt like. But uh, I did change it in the last episode. I just forgot to mention it. He is going to be number one from now on. Oh, Gorn Barnes. The midfielder just kind of didn't bother chasing there. Oh, if that was a better pass, we were through. Oh, for God's sake, I've missed the tackle there. Okay, let's see if we can defend this. Oh, there's a poor pass, but so was that. Oh, no. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, Gomez, he's just done enough. He hasn't. He has not done enough. And once again, we are losing a Premier League game. Calvert-Lewin, a really good signing for Bournemouth, that. He's just... Oh, it is very unfortunate. I'm not sure why Michael Scott... Why did... Why... What? <laughs> I can't get my words out. I'm not sure why Michael Scott didn't just dive instantly and stay low. It's gone underneath his body. Oh, Rashford, go on. Get there, my son. Who is that defender? My God. He's short, but he's really strong and quite quick as well. And bald. Gotta love the, uh, the bald regens in this game. Collins into Rashford. Turn. Into Taylor, who scored in the last game. Oh, 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 he's still going. Into McKinley now. Into Rashford. Bang it in now. Oh, wow. And it's Coleman. Of course it is. We sold Coleman to Bournemouth. He's in goal against us, and he has stopped a goal for sure. That's two times he's now stopped them from conceding. It's a good corner, though. Oh, it's going to come out to Gravenbirch here. Go on, just shoot. Man, there was too many players in the in the way. That was not a good idea, really. We go again, and Barnes is through on goal. Surely this time we'll score. Yes, we will. That was insane. What a finish. It's literally perfection into the top right corner. And this is another reason why I don't want to lose Barnes. His shooting is top-notch for a winger. It really is. I, who, who could I bring in? Neymar? You want Neymar at Sunderland? No. We want Barnes. Oh, look at that. Right into the top corner. Beautiful goal right before half time as well. No, 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 no. Collins is down. Collins is on the floor and he is injured. Oh, no. And I ran past the ball. Well, this first half couldn't have turned any quicker right at the end there. Fantastic. An injury to one of my favorite players. And then I did that with Hover. I literally walked straight through him. Okay, um, this could be bad. Is he is he injured? He is. Okay, but he can play at the moment. Oh, I really hope this isn't bad. As a precaution, we are going to take Collins off. And that does mean that Paul Parks is going to come on on that right side. Here he is. And McKinley is going to be playing at Cam for the rest of this game. Oh, and he's got through here. Go on. Put Barnes through. Nice. Into the box now. Go on. Oh, Coleman. Look, 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 look. We we loved you at the club. You were almost a legend. Not quite, but you, you can let a few goals in. Come on. This Parks lad is tall, isn't he? Looks so strange for a winger to be that tall. Here's Taylor to McKinley. 
Try and get through this gap, which he's done well. Cross comes in. Parks is there. Was not a good header. Oh, yes, Hover. Good job. Into Rashford. Hey, that's a body block. Still need to find two goals here. Oh, it's not going well this game at all. And that's a terrible pass. Go on, Barnes. Oh, guys, I've got a bad feeling that we're going to lose the first two games of the league season. Oh, McKinley. Oh, he's got it. Go on, Rashford. Over the top. Ah, ha, ha. Close, but not close enough. Oh, that makes me kind of sad. Look in the top left, guys. Nemecha confirmed transfer to Barcelona. Is that not a pen? Wow, we just got away with that. Right, come on, Taylor. We need a goal and we need it now. Go on, Rashford in behind. Oh, that's not what I was looking to do. Can someone else make a run, maybe? Tell you what, Parks is really good with the ball at his feet. He's going to be a good player for sure. Oh, oh, no! What was that touch? That was the goal right there. Yes, Graven Birch. No, nope. lost it again. Genuinely, we've lost this game because of Coleman. <laughs> He's literally won Bournemouth the game at this rate. Go on, Rashford. Oh, there we go. We're in. Come on, Rashford. Please score this. Oh, thank God for that. Rashford has scored a very important goal, right? Let's just skip the replay. We don't need to see that again. We need to win the ball and we need to push fast. Come on. Get the ball back. Yes. Come on. Go. Go. Oh, my God. Just couldn't get through there with Parks. And that's going to be game over. Man, we've got one point from six in our first two games. This is a disaster so far. And you know what? The crazy thing is, I've probably already made it impossible to win the Premier League. Because the top teams don't lose games. Simple as that. Man City, I mean, I know, I know they lost one because of us last year. But in general, they don't lose games. So it is actually very possible that we've already lost the Premier League title because of how strong the top teams are in career mode this year. It is, it's going to be very, very tough to chase them. So far, Man City have won both their games without conceding a goal. Same with Spurs. It's going to be so difficult to keep up. And it's not great news about Collins either. He is going to be injured for three weeks. Thankfully, we've got Mendes and Pereira who can come in. But honestly, just not a good start to the season. We've got a game against Southampton now. And you know what? Because it's going so badly, I'm just going to sim this one. You know I'm going to win a simulated game at home. Easy, right? 1-0. Oh, my God. That was almost not easy at all. Somehow, we've pulled off a, a massive 1-0 win at home. But there you go. We got three points. That's what we needed. Now, up next, we've got an EFL Cup game against Oxford. So that gives me a chance to show you the new second team. Brewster up top with McNeil, Mendes and Parks. Billing and Cook. Robinson, Gorman, Godfrey, Aarons and Scott in goal. What a second team. This team is capable of top four, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and use this against Oxford. We're, we're of course, going to simulate the whole EFL Cup and FA Cup because we've won them both. We don't need to be uh, worrying about these competitions. And we've gone through on penalties. Really? That team? Okay, sure. Mendes has picked up an injury. If this is months, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, two months. So my best cams are now injured. Fantastic. Oh, honestly, this, this season gets better and better. So I just found out who we've got in our Champions League group. I will let you guys know as soon as we've played against Watford and got the uh, deadline day done. So this is the final day of the window. We've got the game against Watford. Let's go ahead and try and get another three points after our Finally, our win in the Premier League with a simulated game. Uh, Watford look quite good, by the way. They've got someone that's top scorer that I've never heard of. Let's Who, who is that? Yusuf N. Nez, Nezri. I think that, that was his name, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. 83 rated Moroccan. Actually looks like a bit of a beast. So we're going to have to watch out for him, especially in the air. 90 heading accuracy with 89 jumping and he's six foot four. Wow, okay, no crosses coming in. So without two center attacking midfielders, we are gonna go with Andreas Pereira and Watford are giving us the ball straight away. Thank you very much. Also made a change at right back. I thought Hover was terrible in the last game we played. So Aaron's is gonna come in. Here's McKinley. Oh, hello. Hello, we're in already. Pereira, one nil. Thank you very much, Watford. Maybe they are going to just let us have a little bit of an easier game. That would be nice. I feel like I need it. We're 1-0 up already. 
perfect start. I probably should have mentioned this in the last episode or the episode before that even. Uh, I have adjusted the sliders this season and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what they are. So on the opposition team, they are faster than me. So they've got 53 sprint speed, 53 acceleration. I've tried 54 and it's it's like they're aliens all of a sudden. So 53 seems to be about right. They also make less mistakes with their shots and their passing. It's down to 45. To be fair, I could make that 40 to make it even harder if I want to. But as you can see, it hasn't been an easy start this season. Um, I've also got shot speed and pass on 45, pass speed, because it just makes the game feel a little bit slower, which I prefer. And here you can see my sliders as well. Everything is on 50 except from shot speed and pass speed. That is it. Those are the... Uh, the sliders I use on legendary difficulty. And again, I should explain because some people probably still don't know the difference between uh, legendary and ultimate. So they're exactly the same difficulty wise. But on ultimate difficulty, every single player you come up against will have 99 in every stat. 99 everything, which ruins career modes. What's the point? In There's no progression. If you're playing the same team every week, what's the point? You know, all you're changing is their height and their weight and what foot they're good with. There's literally no point. So I play on Legendary, so it's the exact same difficulty, but they don't have the boosted stats to 99 because, yeah, that is stupid. But anyway, now you've seen it. You can obviously go back and screenshot those settings if you want. Graven Birch with the shot. It has to be saved. It was a good one. That's a nice ball into Rashford. Good turn. Can it be 2-0? Oh. This keeper is on fire. It happens every game, though. Every time. Goalkeepers always play so well against me. It's a good cross, though. Rashford's there. Oh, it's gone through everyone. We're going to keep it in play, though, with Taylor. Oh, oh my God. That was insane defending. Corner now for Watford. Oh, God. I did say I've got to be really careful with this dude up front. He will win everything in the air, and he almost scored there. Okay. Here is OK. <laughs> what a name. What the hell is that? Oh, that's brilliant. His name is literally OK. Here's Lopez. Back inside to OK. And that was a very OK pass. That was more than OK. That was incredible. Wow. OK. Watford have equalised. I don't want to watch that again. My defending is just terrible. Nice. We're in now. Instant reply. Go on, Rashford. Go on. <sighs> Good defending again from Watford. They've actually been pretty decent. They've been okay. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. Honestly. I started so well. What happened? Oh, and I've just lost the ball there too. Okay. We've won it back though. Okay, carry on. Shut up, Matt. Stop making the same freaking joke. It's not funny. It really isn't. And now they're going to get the ball into the box. And the tall striker is going to score against me. Come on, Ake. Nice. That is half time. Guess you could say that was an okay half. <laughs> Make a run, Barnes. Don't just stand there. Right, he's going to get in behind there. Go on. I'm going to have to shoot this, I think. Oh, no. I couldn't. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No! For God's sake, Matt. I should have shot when I could have. Into Taylor here. Back into Pereira. Hit it. Oh, my God. McKinley. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. Let's try this again. Oh, Taylor, come on. Here we go. Graven Birch, through for Barnes. Oh, what a ball that would have been. Manchester United are 2-0 up against Liverpool, by the way. That's a big game going on. Got to do something here. Come on. Here's Rashford. Go on, finesse it. Go on. I mean, that wasn't a good shot. It really wasn't. The keeper made it look so much better than it was. I'm surprised he had to tap it out of play, you know. He probably could have caught it. Oh, go on, Pereira. Nice. Graven Birch chests it down. It's a good turn. Oh, oh, oh. What is going on? I can't seem to do anything right now. Oh, you are kidding me. What? Oh, <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it? How does a keeper do that? Is he freaking Edison? Honestly, luckily the cross wasn't as good as the pass. 15 minutes, guys. Running out of time. Go on. Let's go. Into the box now. Go on. No. The keeper's on fire. I am absolutely terrified. <laughs> I can't score now. Come on. Let's get a good cross in. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, oh, Rashford. Go on, get there, Pereira. Nice. Into the box now. 
Come on, Matt. We've got to do something now. Come on, Graven Birch. Go on this side. Okay. Into McKinley, who's offside. Lovely. That's what I was looking to do, guys. I, I wanted to pass to an offside player to then let them smack it out so I can win it back with a header from Ake. And then Graven Birch into Barnes. This is all part of the plan. Here is Rashford. Over the top for McKinley, who's onside this time. He's got it. Uh, and then I wanted to have a corner because I'm going to go ahead and take it short. We're going to pass this to Barnes. And we're going to cross it in and score. Look. You see what I mean? It's all part of the plan. It was all in my head, at least. I knew exactly how I was going to win this game. Come on! Somehow I've made myself look like a genius. Obviously, that was not part of the plan. It was rubbish attacking. I got lucky with a cross where he's completely unmarked. He heads it into the ground and it bounces over the line. Love it. And they've just brought on Balotelli with seconds to go. Why would you do that? <laughs> We've got the three points, guys. Let's get through deadline day now. I have decided I will not be spending the uh, 230 million or whatever it is I've got. I don't need to. I'm going to leave it with you guys regarding that stadium question. Should I potentially invest all of my cash into a stadium? That'd be kind of cool. If that is something that you guys don't want, maybe maybe I could do the vote now because then if not, I can make a signing in January. I think that's the safest thing to do, isn't it? Okay. In the description of this video, the top line, there is going to be a vote over on my Twitter. I'm sorry if you don't have Twitter, but I'd really appreciate it if you if you want to make one. You can take part in this vote and make sure you follow me as well. It's at MGH. But we'll do a vote. Should I use my money for a new stadium or should I use my money for a superstar signing? That is going to be the poll. Um... Yeah, go and vote. Let me know what you want me to do with the uh, the season six of this series. Let's see if any big deals go through. At the moment, it looks like we are one of the top three deals with Nemecha going to Barcelona. We've got an email here. What's it going to be? Uh, that's exciting. Players leaving on international duty. Great. Dramatic late goal from Gravenberch seals Sunderland win. Absolutely. That was actually a pretty clutch moment, wasn't it? Six hours to go. We've got an email. A transfer offer for Billing, a player that's very unhappy at the moment, and they're willing to pay 40 million. Basically, Napoli want to sign one of our players. They've tried to sign Robinson as well. Um, obviously, I want to block the offers, but I can't. So we'll just go ahead and reject. I do not want to sell Billing. He is still a very important player for me. So we'll just try and get through this window without selling him. Obviously, it can bring down the manager rating if I don't try and make him a bit happier so he will have to get a run of games i guess another transfer offer here for billing and it's from rb leipzig nope you're not going anywhere even for that kind of money which is really good we how much did we sign him for i actually can't remember 20 something maybe man united won him no chance it's funny how they've offered the least money as well out of all of them honestly you should be you should be doubling what you've just offered to maybe make me consider it but I've got so much money what's the point in selling you know there is literally no point in selling him but it looks like we might just about cross the billion mark if there's another big move going on whoa man United have been busy they've sold Pogba Schuler. they brought in Torreira interesting but let's see how much was spent 905 million so not quite a billion we have had bigger windows in the past and I just realized I haven't been doing training fantastic well it makes sense that now I can go ahead and put in my new players we've got Gorman who's 82 rated now holy crap okay uh let's go ahead and do his well obviously we need to do his defending although he's quite good at it already it's just what you do he's a center back we'll also improve his uh I kind of like my defenders to have really good dribbling as well, just because I do like to pass it around the back and turn with them and stuff. But to be fair, he's already got quite good ball control and dribbling. It's not, well, it's not bad. It could be a bit better. Um, maybe his passing. Let's have a look. 74, 66. Honestly, this guy is already very good. Um, we'll do race against the clock. Why not? It improves his sprint speed as well. But the main guy we want to improve is Parks. Wait, he's not a promising talent? Really? 
Okay, so maybe Parks isn't as good as I first thought. Maybe his, uh, his potential isn't that high. So uh, that's a bit of a shame, but we're going to do his shooting. And I think we go with speed shooting. No, we're going to go with adept attacking scenarios. Let's go with him again. This time we'll go with passing. And we will go with crossing and long passing. And then we'll improve his shooting as well. Because, no, we've done shooting, haven't we? Uh, do dribbling. And we'll go race against the clock. Let's improve his agility. Of course, it's going to be a little bit lower than a typical winger because he's taller. But uh, we've started training for the first time this season. I just completely forgot to do it, to be fair. I was so busy with signings and, and stuff like that. But uh, the window is shut, guys. And I'm going to now, I'm going to now show you the uh, Champions League group we've been given as we get another offer coming in for billing. Nope. I've got to say, I'm actually quite happy with my group. There is one team in there that I cannot wait to play. And then there's two other teams that we should really be comfortably beating. So let's go through all of the groups. We are in Group D with Dortmund, Sporting and Spartak Moscow. So, yeah, I, I'm really happy that we've got Dortmund. That's going to be amazing fun. Uh, but Sporting and Spartak Moscow, we should be beating them. Let's go up to Group A here. We've got PSG, Inter Milan, RB Salzburg and Sparta. We've then got Group B, Chelsea, Juventus, Monaco and Fenerbahce. Group C, Real Madrid, Leverkusen, Anderlecht and Lokomotiv Moscow. And then we've got Bayern, Valencia, Lyon and CSKA Moscow in Group E. Group F is Barcelona, Leipzig, PSV and PAOK. -OK. And then in Group G, Manchester United, Napoli, Benfica, Shakhtar Donetsk. And then in Group H, we have Man City, Atletico Madrid, Roma and Dynamo Kiev. That is a superb uh, group. Uh, what, what am I trying to say here? All the groups are good. Like There's all very good competitive groups. It's not like there's one group that's got all the best teams and then a group with some lower rank, ranked teams. So I think, honestly, this is going to be a very, very interesting tournament. But of course, we are Group D because we're going to give them the D when we smash them. That's probably not the right terminology to use, to be fair. But either way, I'm super happy with that. Dortmund is going to be a great game at home and away. Cannot wait for that. They've got an incredible team. Just out of curiosity, I'm actually going to go ahead and take a look using the edit player feature. So they've got Enketia, Zuma, Van Dijk, De Bruyne, Deli Alli, Catrone, Lafont, Draxler, Brandt. Sancho is 93 rated. What? He's only 24 as well. Oh my god, that is actually ridiculous. One of the world's best, 110 million. Holy crap. I kind of wish I saw him before. Because I might have been tempted to go for it. Oh, look at his stats. 99 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, 96 agility, 97, 89, 87, 83, 87, 94, 96, 90, 99, 92. Oh my god. He is amazing. Guys. If you don't want me to move stadiums, which I've already said, I don't think will be the winner of the vote anyway. But if you vote for sign a superstar, this is surely the player we go for. He fits what we look for. Young English players, real face, and he would go on that left side instead of Barnes. I guess I would sell McNeil to replace him. I don't need to, but I probably would. So, uh, yeah, I guess I guess we found our superstar. That's actually incredible. 93 rated, my God. He's only 24 as well. Oh, man. January signing, maybe. But uh, I'm going to end the episode here, guys, as we go towards our next game here. Oh, wait, we've, we've got more offers coming in. This time it's Juventus, who we sold uh, Chambers to, didn't we? Somehow I need to make him happier. I can't lose Billing, so he will play in the next few games for sure. Um, I just missed training, damn it. But our next game is against Cardiff, and then it's the Champions League, isn't it? It is indeed. We have Spartak, then it's Middlesbrough, Sheffield United, and West Ham. Quite an easy month, to be fair. And then in October, we have that game against Dortmund. Oh, I cannot wait. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying this season and the series in general, please do leave a like rating. I'd really, really appreciate it. I'll tell you what, I don't normally set goals, but if you're watching this right now and you haven't liked the video, please do. Let's try and hit 3,000. I don't think we'll be able to do it. So please, it'd be amazing if we could just prove me wrong. But uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter and fill in the poll. Make sure you give your, your thoughts there. You can also tweet me any thoughts you've got. I will read it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode where I will reveal what's won.